Capricorn, what's up? Welcome to my channel. Am I tripping or not tarot? My name is Cock Frost, but you can call me the ghetto nun. So Cappy, I'm here to do your August slash general slash love reading, my G. I do cuss in my readings and give no fucks about it. So if you do, please get the fuck on. I do start all of my cards upright in my deck. I don't believe in starting out with reversals because that's some bullshit. Also, I did pre-shuffle Cappy, but I did not lay any cards down just yet. We're going to do it together. Please keep in mind this may or may not resonate with every single Capricorn. Get no fit nuns. Info for private readings will be below the video. Please take the time to check out our community board. It's like the farmer's market for all the nuns and high priests where they have their businesses, purposes, gifts, etc., etc. posted. If you'd like to submit your business for the bulletin board, please check the info in the description box below the video. It is currently under construction. If you find that the convent is not for you, please look for the nearest exit mark. Get the fuck on. Watch your head on the way out. Hit that link. You'll be back in turn. Thank you to everyone for all the bookings, donations, likes, subscribes, comments, shares, purchases to my website, and pledges to my Patreon. I love you. Capricorn, you mad at somebody or somebody mad at you, but then whoever's mad at somebody is because the other person is getting better, wiser, smarter, ascending, stronger, you know, more beautiful, more this, more that, you know, it's, it feels like it's masculine energy that's mad, to be honest with you. Uh, whoever this is, get like right in your face when they be yelling. I don't know who this, they need to back the fuck up, Capricorn, or you do. Somebody all up in somebody's face, like talking mad shit and they breath hot, G. Not breath, breath, fuck. Okay, B R E F U H, breath. Uh, that shit hot as fuck. I spelled it wrong. Okay, <laughs> I've been kind of goofy tonight, Gappy. Don't ask me why I'm kind of tired and just burnt out. G, so forgive me already. Okay, you some of y'all are trying to like, uh, or someone wants to. I don't know if someone's actually doing this, Capricorn, or someone wants to trip out. It's like someone's gonna try to resist from like flipping out though, or if they do flip out, you're gonna try to resist from. Uh, returning the same energy so this is it makes me feel like somebody want to put their hands on somebody or they do and somebody want to hit their ass back and they don't I don't know I have no comment on that okay it depends on how hard where it was open hand closed fist woman man like shit I got questions okay so it just depends but what I'm picking up on is someone does not want to return the same energy whoever it is that someone is bringing so i know it's negative energy capricorn and it's good that you don't want to return it but i don't feel like you should be letting somebody yeah i just automatically just yeah i feel like somebody can't help it you heard me i'm like it just it just slipped out yeah i don't know somebody need to keep their hands to themselves if not that's not what it is then someone puts their hands on someone and then someone needs to defend themselves because i feel like this motherfucker in your face or something i don't know who this is for capricorn this ain't like you okay something gets in you okay or in somebody else they may be on something this could be somebody who can't like you know some people can't smoke or drink they just turn into a whole nother motherfucker okay so this could be at a party a function an event your cousins or somebody i don't know you know how you got that one that just when they drink you'd be like here they go there they go it could be one of them you know, where it's just like, and they, you know, y'all get into it. You know, somebody got to that's fucked up. They show me somebody. <laughs> that's so fucked up, Capricorn. I'm sorry for laughing. But these my people, that's why I'm laughing because I'm like, this shit's so fucking true. I just see somebody holding another man like from the back, like with his arms up in the air, his belly all out his shirt. You know, like trying to restrain somebody from like hitting on somebody or jumping on somebody. Like they got them in like a headlock or like a something, but it's the man belly off <laughs> like flopped out. It's just not good. Okay. Uh, this damn sure, my, I won't say just my people, but it's damn sure minorities where this shit happening. Okay. Uh, somebody uncle could be drunk. I heard Uncle Junior is drunk. That's fucked up. Yeah, but so y'all always have to restrain Uncle Junior, whoever the Uncle Junior is to you. This is somebody that just always just flip out. Or they, they're a hater. If they're not on something, it's somebody ha hating. Because in the beginning, I got somebody was upset that you're getting better, this, you know what I mean, and all this other shit. And they just totally lose their mind, Capricorn. So be careful. You may not have ever seen this person get like this, or you have. I don't know. But this makes me feel like someone, uh, I don't, I heard lure you in. So this could be somebody that's like, I just want to talk to you. You know, and you go meet this person and it end up all bad, Capricorn. This person could be on cocaine or some shit like that. Or a yo motherfucking ass. I don't know. Yeah, they won't let you leave, whoever it is. Whoever resonates with this intuitive message, this person is not going to let you leave. Not in one piece or whole or healthy. Okay? Or if alive on some real shit. That's why I said you better fight back whoever the fuck this is. You're going to have to. And I hate to get this message, but shit. You know what I mean? Or take your thing thing, you know? Or take your cousin and them. Shit. Uh, something like that. I don't know. But somebody needs to be careful here, Capricorn. Let's get started, buddy. 
the part at the barbecue was funny and shit because don't nobody get hurt because, you know, they stop whoever this is from tripping. It's just funny because it's belly and shit. So, you know, motherfuckers recording that shit. You know, that's why that's funny. But this other shit ain't funny. Yeah, somebody doesn't even know where to tell people they are. You know, <clears throat> like I, this could be somebody on a trip with some. Be careful, Capricorn. Somebody could be going on a trip with somebody. Or, you know what I mean, went on a date with somebody and the person come pick them up. Or y'all mean this person drive you somewhere you don't know where the fuck you are to tell somebody to come get you or something like that when this motherfucker start tripping, G. I don't know what. Maybe you watching TV too. I've been saying everybody watching TV, okay, because shit is so crazy. Give me some messages for Kathy now. I mean, you are the devil, so I know you can turn the fuck up. That's why I said you don't really want to, but shit, you may have to... You know, the devil is welcome here. You may have to turn into that shit for whatever that situation was. Okay? Like, shit. It may just come out of your ass, Capricorn. They ain't went the devil for no motherfucking reason. Shit. Even if he lay dormant. Okay? He in there. Okay? He is. Hmm. When that adrenaline started going, they said, hell yeah. The devil and all of us. Shit. When that happened. Anyway, give me some messages for Kathy now. <clears throat> you got Brent. Okay. And then you got the differences between us. This is race. This is gender. This is height. This is location, city, state. This is our accents. This is, relig this is religion. This is financial status. This is all the differences between us. This is the multicultural card. So Capricorn, this is you able to work with all different types of people. I love it. Some of you guys are bilingual. Uh, but this is like, I work with everybody, G. I don't discriminate, says Capricorn. Y'all money green. And if they got it to spend, then I love them. This is what this is, Capricorn. Not that you like shallow like that, but it's like, you know what I mean? Like, I mean, shit, if they, this is like you have a business or something. And say two people come in to interview and one is your sister-in-law and the other one is just some random person off the street. And the random person off the street, uh, you don't know them. They're whatever race, whatever color, whatever, whatever. And they're really good. You're going to hire them. You're not going to hire your sister-in-law just because it's your fucking sister-in-law. You know, you're going to, uh, so basically shit. You uh, treat people, I mean, the way that they deserve to be treated. Like, you get paid the way that you deserve. You get treated the way you deserve, you know, like the way you act, the way you, you know? Did you pay? Then you get to eat, says Capricorn. You know y'all all about contracts and laws and rules and shit, okay? Regulations is what this is. So this is like, I don't give a fuck about none of that other shit. Rules are rules, okay? Or some shit like that, Capricorn, Okay. So somebody could be upset with, with what you do for work. This is also like taboo jobs. So this is like stripping, tarot reading, morticians, entertainers, uh, you know what I mean? Uh, ballerinas and shit and skateboarders and just all types of just shit. You know, we do all types of shit. Somebody could be upset that you actually make money off of doing that shit. That's what this is too, which is probably why that motherfucker was tripping. Because in the beginning I said, somebody tripping off you because you do it better, getting this, doing that. This makes me feel like you have a real leisure lifestyle Capricorn or somebody does. It damn sure could be you, right? This is bread, earth, right? Earth sign, money. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Uh, damn sure it could be you making money or some shit like that or another earth sign. And people are upset that you get to like chill. This is like, what do you do for your job? It's like, I'm a topless dancer and a fire thrower. That's <laughs> what this shit is. And you make straight bread off that shit. And so people get mad at you, you know? This is like Monday morning and shit. People all getting dressed to go to whatever, nine to five, and you still sleep in the bed. And they're like mad at you, talking about you don't have a job. But you do have a job. I don't have to light my flames and shake my titties till 7 p.m. Don't get mad at me. You know what I mean? Like, we just <laughs> different, G. Period. It's like this, Capricorn. Okay? Using that as an example, whatever it is. This could be you're an athlete if you're a male watcher and this is off season. You know what I mean? I ain't got to do shit, but I still get paid because I'm on the team. Or they still owe me money. Like, I still got to train and go to the gym. Like, you know, like, now nah, we still get paid. And it's like, but you haven't been all month. Like, well, shit. It was the Rona. It's the holidays. I can't help it. You know? So, yeah, I'm just chilling. Like, and you're still getting paid? Like, well, yeah, I'm the basketball player. Like, you know, not everybody, you know, it's like this type of shit. Some of y'all have like a ideal job here, Capricorn. If it's not that, this could be a relationship where it's like different and strange to other people, but it works for you with somebody else, see? And somebody just ups, I don't know why people get mad about what's working for other people in their life. Like, why do you give a fuck so much? That's always been so strange to me. 
You know, and it's probably just because they can't do the shit, Capricorn. That's got to be what it boils down to. They can't do the shit that you, or you can't do the shit that they do. And that's where the real hate and anger comes from. Because it's like, you can uh, definitely go fill out an application to shake your titties and be a flamethrower. It ain't like, uh, I'm standing in front of the door, bitch. You know what I mean? Here, Here's Michelle's number, ho. Uh, tell her I referred you. I feel like you would hook the person up. But you know damn well they ain't trying to do that. That ain't even they stage, G. They're just mad because you do it. It's like, it don't even make no sense. Using that as an example. I feel like someone's life may be mundane and boring, Capricorn, or yours is, and somebody else's is not. But it's just because, like, they're authentically who they are. You know what I mean? Like, I don't, you know, like, do all that extra shit. But half the time, Capricorn, y'all probably did have them regular jobs like them other people and got fired like I did. You tried to work the 9 to 5 and do that regular shit. And all that would hire you was the titty bar and the flamethrower place. It's like, that's why I became one. You know? It's like this type of shit. Like, it wasn't even, I, I kind of fell into it. You know? It's like this type of shit, Capricorn. Somebody mad at you? Wow. I heard so mad they could put their hands on you, Capricorn, so please be careful. Okay? Somebody just mad you do your thug thizzle for sure, okay? I feel like you wake up when you are. It's like you walking around just eating bread, you know? It's like some shit like that, and you're a model. It's like, yeah, but I'm a plus-size model. I, I'm supposed to eat bread. And then this other model's like just dying to get in, literally dying to get into the industry, starving themselves, and you over here eating hoagies and Jersey Mike's and shit getting paid. It's like, I mean, shit, I love my body. It's like, you know, y'all, you know, y'all want to fit in? I don't. I don't want to fit. I barely fit into anything, but I get paid for it, says Capricorn. Not to be like that, but it's like comfortable in your skin, G, period. Put something on the bread. They mad at you, Cappy. Or you mad at somebody. I don't really feel like it's you, though. You like everybody can get a slice. That's why I said this you referring somebody. Like, you can come down and fill out the application and, you know, whatever the fuck. Like, it's money for everybody here. Money for everyone, says Capricorn. They don't like you having it, Capricorn. It, it, they know that. It's the fact that you have it, Capricorn. No. And the way that you get it. I don't know what y'all do. It's all type of shit out here, okay? Uh, all, and these are not like regular jobs. These are like taboo jobs. Like I scrub the, the white part on the zebra. You know what I mean? Make sure they're real white and stripey. Like that's your job? Like, yeah. Like if I get paid like a motherfucker too. Like just to scrub the stripes on the zebra? Like, yeah, I get paid. You know? It's like this type of shit. And people just stare at you like, I mean. And then they get mad at you though. Like, you know, you don't want to stand there and scrub them. <laughs> shit, so leave me alone. It's like this type of shit. Put one on the bread. They making me mad, Capricorn. Uh, This is like 101 Dalmatians keys. Yeah, just because you found your purpose is what this feels like. Uh, in this deck, there's three different dolls. There's this terrier thing here. And then there's this thing here. And then there's one here. But everybody else is doing the same thing. It's exactly what I said. So it's everybody waking up Monday through Friday, 9 to 5, this, this, that. And this you, Capricorn, like. I'll be by the pool later. It's like, you know, like this is you like chilling by the pool. Like that's my job. I'm a lifeguard. Like I'm supposed to hang out by the pool all day. You know, it's like this type of shit. I had a uh, friend and shit. Her job was to go like move to this lighthouse. This is what this was reminding me of. That's why I'm going to tell you all this story. Her job was to move to this like lighthouse to make sure like the pigeons and the pelicans or whatever it was, seagulls, didn't like uh, shit all on the lighthouse and like uh, bite on the wires or something because the lighthouse had to stay lit for the like boats coming in. That's all she had to do was like uh, keep the place active, like lights on, you know, so the birds wouldn't land and tear up shit. Literally, she got paid for that shit. Okay, she had to stay there for like months, so she was kind of bored, but she got paid. But that's, she's that type of person, though. Uh, that is her job. She looks like Gwyneth Paltrow, too. She looks exactly fucking like her ass. It's crazy as fuck. She sound like her, too. Uh, but yes, so she looked like Gwyneth Paltrow, and she lived in a lighthouse to shoo away birds and got straight paid, G. Okay? People were so mad at that girl, and I'm like, I think you're fucking dope as fuck. You know, like, that shit is dope. Hence why I probably became a tarot reader later on. We worked together at, some, at a shitty-ass job. Uh, that's how we met. Uh, we both got fired from that job. Matter of fact, yes. It's like this, Capricorn. Made a good friend, okay? So some of you guys may be meeting your soul tribe, like people that just are, you know, different. You like different people. You like people that are authentic but, like, different. You know what I mean? Like, you're going to pick the runt out of the 
the pack of puppies. Like, I want the one with the three toes because no one's going to pick that one. It's like, you're going to want that one. You know, it's like this type of shit. And it just works for you. It's like a healthy dog, healthy whatever. It's like, that's just how y'all are. Uh, is what it is. Somebody is shit. I don't know. Kathy, what's on the back? Oh, yeah, keys. Yeah, just because you know what the fuck you doing. I told you somebody out here is bilingual or just knows a lot of shit about a lot of shit. Somebody, some of you guys are uh, multi-talented. That's why I said it's my multicultural car, but this is knowing a lot of shit, wisdom and knowledge. Uh, you've been to a lot of places. You could have traveled to a lot of places all over the world. This is like uh, different foods, like different cuisines, different towns, cities, you know, different people. Like you just be out there, G, and it works, and you get money. You know you can't make money doing the same shit. Well, you can't. Other people can, but you personally cannot make money doing the same shit and taking orders from people. You'll kill somebody, G, you know this. Wisdom and knowledge. I know how I have to make money. I have to be a flamethrower and shake my t I have to. It's like, and it may not even be like a sexual stripper thing. They showing me somebody like at a, uh, like being hired, like a woman with like a skirt on and her, she got pasties on, but her titties basically out to me, but she like throwing flames and putting them in her mouth and all types of shit. And she get paid. It's like, you know, what the fuck? Yeah. I know how to do that. And taxes says the lady says you, it's like, I could do a whole bunch of shit. I'm just not good in the office. I'm not good, you know, on my feet. I'm not good whatever this is, Capricorn. But you are good at whatever it is you're good at. It's like whatever some mold people want you to fit in, you're not good at that. You break the mold. Someone's upset that you keep breaking some mold or some box they keep trying to put you in or you're upset. But I really don't feel like this is you, Capricorn. I feel like y'all are, uh, you want to do what it is you want to do. Like, I want to fucking live, bitch. <laughs> you know, like, fuck. Like, I don't want to do that shit. Nothing against you that want to sit in the cubicle all day. And nothing against anybody that does. But this group of cappies I'm picking up on are, are a cross watcher. They can't do it, G. They can't. So if anybody, a family member, a parent, a spouse, or anybody got a problem with this particular Capricorn or cross watcher, it's a lost cause, man. You ain't about to get them to stop eating coals and whatever the fuck it is they do. And they take care of themselves. They're not asking people for shit either. Good luck, Chuck. What is this? Damn, I can't pick them up. Oars. Is what this is. Oh, like, hell yeah. Look at you. Like, what do you do? Like, I fly hot air balloons. Uh, this is what you do, but you probably love your job, whoever this is. It's like, I get to see the city on a beautiful day. You know what I mean? Like, it's just great. Uh, sometimes I go up there by myself, eat lunch. <laughs> this is like the shit that you do. <clears throat> it's like, then I just come back down, clock in, go back. You know, it's a cool job, says someone. Or are you Capricorn? That's what this is. It's like you living your life feeling good, feeling free. Like, uh, not tied down and shit. Oars. Yeah, oars are for boats uh, to paddle, to go upstream or downstream. Yeah, this is like, uh, this is just how you get through life. You know what I mean? This is just how I do shit. And you ain't emotional about it. This is like getting out of your emotions, you know, because this, this wades the water out of the way, right? Like, right? If you get, oh, am I doing it the right way? Like, yeah, something like that, right? This is you like not even letting whatever, uh, so, or they're suggesting Capricorn, don't let whatever or whoever this is that's uh, making you, or trying to put you in a mold or a box or upset with you, get you in your emotions. I don't feel like they do though. Cause this is you like wading through the emotions, but it also goes back to what I said, which you trying to avoid some conflict or like resist doing something. Like I'm not gonna let what this person says get me out of pocket where I hit them in the hand with this or and shit. You know, it's something, like, somebody gonna try to get under your skin, Cappy, for sure. <clears throat> they are. Whoever this is that tries to get under your skin is just like everybody else, is what I was told to tell you. They do something like everybody else. You could work with these people and they all do the same thing and you just do your shit different. Or this is some family uh, where they all stick together and shit. You know what I mean? And you're nothing like them. You're the black sheep, I guess is what I would call it. There, someone, you know, Gabby. Uh, they may all just be talking about you too, but you know that shit. Heavy on the Capricorn Taurus Virgo energy. It could be your own damn earth kin. Uh, treat me like this for a show. Or it's some of y'all Capricorn that are stuck in this box too. That want to get break free from something. Some of y'all are doing some shit you don't want to do anymore. It has something to do with work. I don't feel like it's a relationship or anything. This is like, I really want to like, I'm an artist. I need to paint. I need to do my thing. And this is you clocking in at Bank of America every day. It's like, you know, yeah, they pay and whatever. But it's like... This is what I love to do, says Capricorn. 
for some of y'all, it is you that feel like that as far as you want to get out of, you're ready to like get into your purpose, like into some gangster shit. Like, what is we doing? Right? For others of you that are already in this, these are other people that are mad that they're still at Bank of America and you're not. Using that as an example, and nothing wrong with Bank of America. Some people love banking. Some people want a, a nine to five. Like, I want security, none. I don't want to be shaking my titties with matches. <laughs> I feel you, whoever said that shit. Like, uh uh, bitch. I need some shit <clears throat> with benefits, okay? I feel you. <laughs> but if you feel this way, Capricorn or Cross Watcher, you feel like that, what I just said, you damn sure ain't hating on somebody who wants to do something else because you're happy with what you're doing. So that wouldn't apply to you. You would still come up in this energy like, bitch, I love my nine to five, bitch. I love pulling in my Mercedes, bitch, knowing I pay for it. But this is this shit. This could be just job security. And you just work with it. You know what I mean? You travel for work or just work, you know, whatever. For those where you do have a nine to five or you just in a career field uh, that you love to do, you know what I mean? And you're good at it. You're, you, you're successful at it. So this could be other people that do the same shit and they ain't, you know, and they, they ain't supposed to be doing this shit. It's something about somebody just like, like living the life, G. And it ain't even about money. Well, we'll see because the bread is out here. But I mean, shit, I feel like whoever signed up to shake their titties and be a flamethrower didn't know they was going to get paid like that. You know what I mean? Or didn't know they were going to become one of the best, you know, and get hired at all these parties. They're like, shit, this is the most money I've ever made. It's like they didn't even know. Like, shit, I told you whoever it is, the plus side model, model bitch, blowing up, okay? Not like literally, but Shekinah, but that's what I'm saying, though. Like, bitch, I'm supposed to be like this. I'm setting records, bitch. <laughs> what this is, I don't know. I heard somebody's a sumo wrestler as well. It looked like it or something. Not like that, but I mean, some, someone's like, I'm a sumo wrestler. I'm supposed to be big. I get paid to be big like this and you know what I mean? Waddle around the ring like I do. You know, it's like this type of shit. I don't know. Something about odd jobs. Mm -hmm. They're talking about Anthony Bourdain now. So somebody could be a chef. Or he wasn't really a chef. Well, he was a chef, but I mean, as far as the show, he went around and like somebody could be like a uh, food, like a uh, taste tester, whatever they call them, like a food connoisseur or something like that. Or you go and give like uh, reviews on certain foods all over the world is what this is. Somebody out here got some moldy bread. You got Dalmatians here with bread. That means it's dots on it. Unless it's like rye. <laughs> I don't know what other bread, marble maybe. I don't know. It feel like mold though. Somebody bread is moldy. Okay, or shit, this that money. This green bread, because it's got dots on it, meaning that it's green. Yeah, you good with money, Capricorn, in August, for sure, for sure. That's the only thing you want like everybody else, like at least the ones that got it. Like, yeah, now in that bracket, I want to fit in, like be able to eat, take care of myself. I want to be a Dalmatian too. You know, I just don't eat dog food. That's, that's what this is. You eat something different. You're like a different, a different breed. Yes, Capricorn. A different breed, Booski. Come on down here. Eight of Pentacles, and it just works for you. This is your energy, Booski. I know. But I do feel like it's Earth sign on Earth sign hate here. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, man and other Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. But it's because some of them have stepped in their purpose and some of them have not. I told you somebody just worked a regular ass job putting the numbers on the clock. You know what I mean? They're like, I fucking hate this job. And then they ask you what you do, you know? And you're like, uh, I spray insecticide over the Midwest and uh, crop duster plants. That's what this shit is too. And they're like, that's your job? Like, yeah, it's pretty cool. I'm a pilot. I got my license. I get to fly. Like, it's cool. I still get my hours as a pilot and I get paid to spray the pesticide. I'm not too cool about that because, you know, the planet. But yeah, that's my job. And somebody's like, you're like, what do you do? They're like, I paint the numbers. You know, it's like, then they get mad at you. It's like, how you gonna get, they hiring at the crop duster place though. Like, it's like this, Cappy. Like, yeah, you sleep well at night knowing that you, you know, this is how my homegirl was sleeping in the lighthouse. Like, fuck what y'all talking about. You don't see a bird, do you? Yeah, she did her damn job. Okay, that's this shit. Or else the shit would have been looked just like this. Okay. Just covered in shit and look at that look like poop, don't it? Like uh bird shit. Mm -hmm. They got I'm telling you, if you wanna find a job, you will find one. <clears throat> okay? And she smoked weed. This before weed was legal. So every and where we worked, you know what I mean? Everybody smoked weed there. Even though I got fired for smoking weed. Ain't that a bitch? But that was a long story for another day. Right? But she couldn't get hired nowhere. 
Uh, and they were like, shit, I mean, yeah, you can smoke weed. Just make sure the birds don't, you know, eat up shit and shit on shit. She like, cool. Oh, yeah, but you know what? There was no electronics, though. <clears throat> Her phone or something didn't work there. I don't think she had social media. That was the one thing. So she had to figure out what to do with her time and shit. But she did like to knit and all this other, like she was just one of them people. Bake bread, she one of them people, you know? Like, fuck it, I'm getting paid, I don't care. Fuck social media. It's like this type of shit. I like it. The Six of Wands, yeah, you successful at it, Capricorn. I'm telling you, Capricorn, I don't know what you do for work, okay? <clears throat> but it feels out of the ordinary is what this is. Like most people that do it walk a fine line or they're not successful when they do it. They fall off. Uh, you see how they're looking like people expecting you to fall off. Like there's no way they're going to be successful doing that. And you are. You know what I mean? This is like I just landed a new deal. That's what this is. I just landed a new deal, landed a new client, a home. Some Y'all coming the fuck up, Capricorn. So, whoever, so no wonder they mad at your ass. So not only were they talking shit, Kathy, right? Like you need to do this and that's not a real job or that's not a whatever you're doing. That's not going to take care of shit. You, they're not really making any money. This somebody was talking down on your motherfucking name, Capricorn. I promise. Or this was you doing this shit to somebody. And then when they come back and check, you landing new deals, clients and shit, got a home and shit, over here eating sushi and uh, traveling to Japan and all types of shit. Like, what? Somebody just super, so be careful, because whoever this is is going to be even more pissed off. It's like, because now you're making them look stupid. Well, they made themselves look stupid, but you, you didn't know you were going to make them look, stu look stupid by being successful and just being you. But just be careful of people, Capricorn. This feel like a whole fucking hatergy. Or you a whole fucking hater. Some of y'all are in the entertainment industry. Yeah, and never everybody wanted to be in the industry. So now everybody that's not in the industry that you hung out with Capricorn is like, they not gonna make it, he not gonna make it, she not gonna make it right. Everybody sound the same, rap the same, sing the same, right? And Capricorn just did something different and Capricorn made it. And they like Capricorn ain't gonna do this. They ain't gonna last long. They ain't gonna and Capricorn over here just killing it. Or cross watcher, Leo Aries Sagittarius, heavy Leo over here as well. Uh, killing the whole fucking game, G. Yes. Or you have fire in your chart, or you just on fire, Capricorn. Yeah, I don't know if you know you got haters like that, but you damn sure do, moon card. Yeah, you can feel this shit. Uh, Capricorn, be aware of your surroundings in August, because these are people that you think are cool with you, or, or love you, or are happy for you. And I feel like they pretend to, but pay attention to the energy, G. It's like going back to an old neighborhood and shit. You know what I'm saying? Where everybody's still low and shit and got a, you know, they got a job. They should be thankful. But when you come up in that motherfucker, whatever it is, landing in planes or whatever the fuck you doing, Capricorn, they ain't happy for you. Y'all need to be careful. I see, like, somebody getting beat up. Like, jump, beat the fuck up. And you know how shit is, Capricorn, okay? For those where, you know what I mean? You, it's like somebody may not realize how successful or how, uh, yeah, how successful they are, Capricorn, or who they really are to these people, or how they appear or come off to these people. If This giving me hater energy, Capricorn. Heavy on the Capricorn Taurus Virgo doing this, your own Earth King, gee, I'm telling you. And you know what it says? Uh, a prophet is shunned in their hometown. So this could be going back home or somewhere you're used to. But you also have heard the saying where they say strangers treat you better than your own family. And look at you out here in the world meeting all different people, successful people clapping for you. And there's your own people here, like nitpicking your shit. Like, well, you didn't do, this is like this type of shit, Capricorn. What kind of, it's a hater, like a motherfucking Capricorn. Be careful, okay? Or you a hater, G. But it's like on a whole nother level where they be done jumped you, killed you type shit, Capricorn. I'm sorry to be like that, but that's what I'm feeling. Even in the beginning of the reading, I felt that. I'm like, somebody pissed off all in your face with their breath funky. Like, like, you need to back the fuck up. I felt somebody wanted to put their hands on you, Capricorn. That's why I said, make sure you take your thing, thing, G. That's why I said that. It's giving me the same energy, okay? Uh, you don't know who the fuck involved. This all Dalmatians and shit. You know what I mean? It's like I'm sensing the energy off a lot of motherfuckers is what it says, Capricorn. Some of y'all really need to be careful, okay? I feel like some of y'all are flying into somewhere. This could be flying into some town. Like, I just landed. You know what I mean? If you, I don't know what you're doing. This feel like you either perform somewhere or you're somewhere in a town or you go somewhere where you have nice shit on, nice car, nice this, nice that, and everybody else see your ass. And it's not good, Cappy, so be careful, okay? That part. Damn. It's a damn shame, too. It's not even your fault, Capricorn. You just got to pay attention, that's all. Because your belly on full. It look like you eating around this bitch. You know what I mean? Everybody else still trying to get a meal ticket around here is what I had heard. Damn, Cappy. 
Well, congratulations. I ain't no hater. I love that you doing whatever the fuck you need to do. But everybody know you can't go back to where you came from and, like, kick it. You know? And if you do, you need to be very fucking careful. Whoever this is. If it's not something like that crazy, this could be like you going back to hang out with people from your job or some shit like that. You know what I mean? And they're like a competitor. You know what I mean? Competing with you and shit. Like, oh, well, my job, we're still doing this and doing that. How's your job? You know what I mean? They want to nitpick your new shit and shit. Knowing damn well they wanted to leave that job too, but you got out. It's like this, like somebody want to fuck some shit up, Capricorn, okay? Or make you feel real low. Even though, like, uh, if someone just wants to make you feel low, they can't do it. Because the proof is in the pudding. You're doing big things. But if this is somebody that, like, wants to, like, uh, intimidate you or, like, make you feel like, you know, you're not better. I heard you're not better than nobody, Capricorn. It's this type of shit, Capricorn. You ain't even trying to be. It's like, I ain't even trying to be. But it's just the way you carry yourself. It's the energy. It's that shit. It's that boss shit, Capricorn. You hold that shit. Period. People just mad. Yeah. Bunch of dicks. Five of wands. Could be a fire sign too mad at your ass. If it's a fire sign mad at your ass, they be pretending like they could with you. The earth sign act like you're not a big deal. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, they act like you ain't really shit, even though you are. Like, they want to make you feel small. The fire sign big you up and talk a good game, but they talk shit about... It's like uh, Snoop Dogg and Baby Boy. Is the fire... It's Rod Nietzsche uh, is the fire sign, okay? Mother hand. Damn! I wasn't expecting that. Could be your own family, Capricorn. This your mama, G. This is my mother car. This is the mother hand. Grandmother, godmother, stepmother... Uh, fuck. This could be family, period. So this somebody mama talking shit about them? Oh, wow. I was not expecting that. So somebody mama still work a nine to five or what? You could be doing better than your parents. This could be a daddy too. But this is like you doing better than someone. Or they could be older than you, raised you or some shit. This could be a boss. But whoever this is feels like you Oh, they ass Capricorn. No wonder they so mad. Because this is somebody still doing the same thing. It's just like... You know what I mean? Like upset that they're in the same place 20 years later, however many years later. They are making money. They have a home. Like I said, they could have raised you, your siblings. You could have children with this person. And somehow you just live in like a really good life. You could be a parent now yourself. And you don't, you know what I mean? Like your kid just, you give them everything. You know what I mean? And somebody's judging your parenting. Like, I don't know why they, they're just going to spoil those kids, giving them everything. It's all this other shit. It's because they can't do it for their kids or they, some shit Capricorn. It's a whole fucking hater i think y'all had this before like something about a hater i can't remember i mean y'all always get that of course but I, it was a title something about like like something about a hater capricorn i don't remember but it's damn so connected to this one they said oh we i'm sorry booski they said hats off to your haters i'm gonna name it that but i don't really know what that means because that's like congratulating them or they're just saying, yeah, I feel like you just need to know, Capricorn. Like, it's like you congratulate your haters. Like, you probably know what I'm telling you is already true, right? Like, I know. You know what I mean? Like, hats off to them. They do it all the time. Says you. But I feel like you need to be careful, though. Like, maybe you don't know the, the, how, how much hate they have for you or how infuriated or the lengths they'll go to try to destroy, fuck something up. It's like, you know, they a hater, they stay the fuck away from them because this makes me feel like you still drop in and kick it. I don't know, Cappy, I don't like it. I really fucking don't. So please be careful out here in these streets. Anyway, Cappy, that's me you're reading. Like I said, it may or may not have resonated with every single Capricorn. Still, thank you for visiting my channel. I'm Entrepreneur Natero. My name is Cock Frost, but you can call me to get on them. Please hit like, subscribe, share with your fans. Again, info for private readings will be below the video. You can purchase your DU gear and your tune-in deck at thegettonine.com. And I'll talk to you later. Love you, bye.